Yeah. Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to another episode of the Rooney Hunter. So uh, we're here with Aaron, A Plus Meats, and as you guys saw in the last video, he got his first red deer up in the Ruahini Ranges, and what a mean trip that was, eh, my bro? I reckon epic, epic yeah. trip, and um, so I'm really glad he took me out there, and uh, yeah, hopefully we do it again soon. Yeah, so we're just going to go through what we're going to do with our meat, and Aaron has prepared some stuff over here, and uh, we've got, also got the other half of the animal that, um, yeah, you're going to go through a few cuts and yep. show us how it's done, eh, bro? Yeah. Hopefully. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, I'll pass that over to you, sort of uh, what you okay, what yeah. you want to do, bro. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, so what I'm going to touch on today is something different. Like, um, as you, a lot of you already know, I like to do gourmet, and um, I've already prepped half of the animal today for Joe, and I've done a lot of gourmet stuff. We've got it all here to display, and um, we're gonna have a bit of a look at that. Then I'm gonna get out the other half. We're gonna do a butchering session on, on the back leg and the front leg, the back steak, and we'll do some of these cuts over here on the table over here, so that um, just gives you um, other hunters out here a few different ideas that you mm. can um, hopefully yeah. impress um, visitors and wives and family and friends. Mm. Yeah, as I've already said, we've got a side of venison that we got the other day. Uh, I'll go through individual things and soon we'll get on there and I'll show you how I can butch a few of these cuts. Alright, so we've got a silver side from the back leg here, venison roast. It's been boned, butterflied, stuffed and strung up. Yep. Alright, really, really nice. We're over here we've got the venison fillet wrapped in bacon. Yep. Over here we've got different types of kebabs, mm. crumbed, marinated plain, yep. plain patties. Over here we've got a garlic shoulder roast, stuffed, with yes. rock and roll. Over here is the venison back steak but butterfly. Mm. Uh, over here we've got stir fry, venison stir fry and marinated stir fry, two yep. different options. Here we've got the diced diced uh, venison but it's marinated in the port wine this is something really really cool I really like this here this is the uh, venison mignons okay so this is the knuckle that I've cut into three big chunky uh, roast size pieces wrapped in bacon with a bit of garlic butter you bake those in the oven uh, the garlic butter mounts the bacon corks beautiful something different all right, over here we've got the rump steak. We've got garlic rump steak and peppered rump steak. Kebabs, we've got marinated, plain. Over here we've got um, a sausage meat, uh, meatloaf type of roll with a um, beautiful crumb on the outside. These here are called pinwheels. So this is the top side, with a bit of stuffing in there. Fry or bake those in the oven. This is a crumb patty. And over here, our plain back steaks. But not forgetting salami, homemade sauces for my um, sister-in-law Nikki, and nice. our beer sticks for a cheese platter. So, Man. yeah, lots of different options for you. Yeah, cool, bro. And I see uh, you got the barbecue behind you there, mate. The barbecue for us if we yeah. um, want to have a cook up, and uh, feel free to cook up any of this as ready to rock and roll while we're say butchering over there. Yeah. All right. And over here. We have our old main man, our ring pen. How are we doing? Yeah. He's, <laughs> you, you're going to be our chef tonight, are you, bro? Yeah, yes, sir. I'll be on the barbie. Yeah. Uh, shop, bro. Yeah. Well, you're doing your cut up, bro. Help yourself to this. We're allowed to, yeah. now that we've done that, we can get in there and start eating it as well. Yeah. Because that's the real deal, is actually eating yeah. it as long as it looks good, you know. But we always want to have a bit of a cook up and, and have a test and yeah. see if it's the real deal. Mean, bro. All good. Good. Oh yeah, that didn't take long. Well, broke. Okay. So here it is, uh, fellas. You saw Aaron the other day out in the bush. We hung this uh, deer up in the tree, and yeah, it's pretty is clean. It's untouched since we brought it out in is the it, bush. Is it the eye for attached to the back leg? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Like yeah, that. I thought it was yeah. Thank you, like that. <laughs> <laughs> hey. You need to learn how to do that one. Oh, nice. Yeah. You'll see that in the video. Yeah. Yeah. Crazy. It's just all part of your boning, really. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
Well, pretty right. clean yeah. considering we um, yeah. butchered it out in the field. Yeah. Big stake attached to the front lane. <laughs> yeah, it's not yeah, bro. Yeah. Everything's attached. Yeah. Yeah. Old back up some beast sticks and shit. There it is. Fumiata. Aaron's put on a bloody good platter over here in the missus, eh? What's your yeah. name? Yeah, um, Ange. Ange. Yeah. yeah. Got to uh, mention. She's, uh, thanks to her, uh, all of this has sort of come together. I yeah. do the butchering, but she does the, the nice yeah. stuff. So. Yeah. Yeah. She, oh. she supports me going hunting, wants me to go hunting more. Yeah. So, uh, <laughs> she's the best. Yeah. I mean, yeah, too much Ange for putting uh, all this together, you know. Without you, obviously, this wouldn't have happened. You've got to take some credit. The bro yeah, can't take it all. Definitely. <laughs> uh, she encourages me to go hunting, so she's definitely good. Yeah, yeah. As a keeper. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, yep. Oh, well, let's get into some of this, eh, Yankee? Yeah. Right. And Aaron can set himself up over there to yeah. do some boning. Yeah, I'm ready to go. So. so obviously these fellas have been in my vids a couple of times and um, they've hit me up. They've, yeah, well, they've been noticed out in public or up the bush and shit before. So Aaron, you got hit up by the bro, Jace, eh? Yeah. Up the uppity. <laughs> How was that? Bit of a buzz? Yeah. Oh, made me feel fantastic, you know. Um, I was quite proud. It's the first time somebody gone, hey, I know you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, you got the Ruini answer. Okay, yeah, that's me. Yeah. So, it was cool. Mm. Sorry, Charlie from uh, Australia. He's a Kiwi fella, but yeah, he likes you, mate, when you're in the Charlie. videos. Yeah. We'll meet one day. <laughs> we'll have a beer. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hope, hope it's only just the beer. <laughs> <laughs> It's quite good to get some heat in there first because it doesn't really do much to start with. Um, but it gets a bit smoky in there. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Just a little bit of sharpening your knives. Okay, first of all, I'm going to whip the, as you see, the eyeful, it's still attached to the back leg. I'm going to whip that off. Okay. Yep. I'm going to whip that little bit of a uh, silver skin off there. It's good enough. Okay, we're going to whip the rump off. Okay, we're just going to tidy it up. It's off loose. There, to the other side. Here's our rump. Okay, so now we're going to bone out the whole leg, starting at the top. See now, you can see, all I'm doing is following the bone. Nice little cuts. She all comes away. Right. There. The knuckle. Knee tap. Okay, she's out. I mean, quick bro. Can't do that. Look at those bones. Right. What we're going to do is so we separate the muscle, muscle groups, the top side, the knuckle and the silver side. I see bro, um, <clears throat> you can work a lot faster on a bench eh, rather than hanging up. I suppose I'm just used to like yeah. hanging meat up and boning out that way, but on a bench you seem to have the techniques down. Yeah, on a bench is definitely a lot easier for me. Um, yeah. Harder in the bush. Yeah. Uh, but you can do the exact same thing while it's hanging up. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, Inky, yeah, bro, venison pinwheel. Yeah, 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 try that. Little bro smashing out his work here. Okay, we've got a silver skin there, we just want to go underneath that. Trim. Glam. Out. There's a 
our silver side. Make sure the leaf's okay. It's pretty good. Yeah. This is our top side. It's got that cap there, so we're going to remove that. Just pick up all this loose stuff. Got the cap there. Keep following the natural seam. Look quicker than what we'd do, eh, Inky? <laughs> oh, I don't know, bro. I'm pretty, pretty smart. Yeah. Me, like, hey. I'm pretty good. <laughs> I'd have to say he fucks around when he's packing his gear up in the bush though, eh? He's always waiting for the bastard. <laughs> you know it too, eh? Yeah. 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 I'm like, oh, Joe's waiting again. <laughs> yeah. Alright, here's our knuckle. Tidying up all these loose bits and pieces. Straighten up these edges. Silver skin. The knuckle was this? Is that that cut you? Um, we did the mignons out okay, of the yeah. bacon around the outside. Okay, yeah, bro. Yeah, yeah, we'll do that very shortly. Yeah, so it's all nicely done. A bit of silver skin there. Getting rid of silver skin is always good. What are you done, Inky? Inky's already buggering things up. Burning everything. Put harder on that grill. Hmm. Right. Shanks there, we're just going to put that into the trim. Aaron is going so fast as Tom, I can't even keep up. <laughs> Jeez. Filming for about four minutes, bro. You just smashed out that whole leg. Whole leg done, yep. yep. There you go. And that's at the end of the day. There's the good stuff. Rump. Silver side, top side, knuckle, and our eye fillet. All good to go. Me, all right, Oops, bro. Yeah. That was quick. Yeah. So, are you? What do you got uh, so next, what bro? Got now is our shoulder and our back steak. All right. So, while oh, it's hanging up there, I can probably uh, I can see that it's nearly going to fall off anyway. I have to do just a little cut here. And that back steak's going to come out. Our back steak, not too bad, tidy wise, considering we butchered it out in the um, out there in the bush. And now it's just a matter of just tidying things up. All that stuff can go in the trim, a little bit of hair here, here and there. All right, that, that up. All right, silver, uh, silver skin off the back there. Okay, we can take it off in a piece. I'm just there's always a thick part here, I like getting it up yeah, out of the right. way first. It's up near the rump, eh? Hey? Yeah, yep. yeah, up near the rump there. Yep. Otherwise you can you can do this just like filleting a fish. Yep. So you're just running that blade down to the yeah, uh, just sinew, trying, just, say? Yeah, just to like basically get started, you know? Yep. Yeah. Spend a bit of time getting it ready, then flip it over, and then just run your knife. Okay, so Keep knife. checking. Yep. You know, and just making sure you're not going too too deep. If you don't get it all, but like I did, come in here. It's a little bit dry from being butchered in the bush, though. Okay, get a little bit better there. It's a bit easier when you skin it straight away, you know. But like now, it's a little bit dry and a bit sticky, but. Get it in the end, not quite how I wanted it to go, however. That was good, bro. Not too bad. Still a little bit of silver skin there, just poking underneath. Keep that. Right, a little bit more there. Not the best. Right. I mean, pretty good. Alright, here's our back steak. Done and dusted, ready to go. Right, so we'll tidy that up too. I'll just come underneath this stuff as well. Yeah. 